Good afternoon, everyone. It is official. 2016, not the warmest year ever. Why golly, that is just so adorable. As of January 6, 2017, the global average temperature for year 2016 has not been published anywhere by anyone. What this clown is showing is a computer simulated science model based on satellite measurements that show approximately 0.12% of the global climate system, that is, the upper layer of the lower atmosphere. It has absolutely nothing at all to do with global average temperature. A hot year, no with the highest temperatures of all when we compare data. University of Maine Climate Change Institute also showing downward temperatures all of 2016. Why? That's also adorable. This chart is showing a temperature value for January 2017. Dude, what is today's date? The fact that year 2016 started abnormally high and then cooled says nothing at all about year 2016 not being the warmest year on record. You have to look at all previous records. And here it is, year 2016 up to November. The fact that year 2016 started warmer than it ended says nothing at all about it not being the warmest year on record. Antarctic downward trend. Yes, the Southern Hemisphere has been cooling. The Northern Hemisphere has been warming much more than the Southern Hemisphere is cooling. Look at the whole planet. Comparison of 2015-16 Northern Hemisphere snow cover and the magic warming ocean. Within one month, the entire planet's oceans have warmed more than a degree Celsius. Gosh, this is just adorable also. So, the surface of the world's ocean cooled. Now take a look at all of the other months. Oh my God. The planet is warming! Ah! Who would have thought that? First week of December, we now have the lower tropospheric temperatures in and counted. Uh, no, we don't. What you are showing is a computer model based on satellite data. We do not have actual temperatures. 2016 is not the warmest year ever. No one ever said year 2016 for the upper layer of the lower troposphere was the warmest on record with 1998 statistically indistinguishable from that year. A lot of people talking about lower tropospheric temperatures. It is on an increase at three tenths of a degree above baseline. Yes, the upper layer of the lower troposphere is warming not as fast as the rest of the planet. It accounts for approximately 0.12% of the entire Earth climate system. Since the 1979 satellite era has begun, but when we look at the Lower stratospheric temperatures, which nobody talks about, on the decline. <laughs> this, this just cracks me up. Dude, the troposphere is heating up. What happens when you heat up a gas? It expands. What happens when a gas expands in the lower troposphere? By golly, it pushes the stratosphere outward. What happens when the stratosphere is pushed outward? It expands. What happens when a gas expands? It cools. <sighs> This fact was predicted and projected by scientists in the 1930s, such as, oh, I don't know, C.S. Calendar for one. If this had not been observed, then we would not know that humans are responsible. We would probably assume that it's the sun doing the warming and not greenhouse gases here on the surface of the planet. What you just said confirms that humans are responsible for the global temperature increase on planet Earth. And you are too fucking stupid to understand that fact. Headline, 100% of US warming due to NOAA data tampering. And then Climate Central, Brian Kahn, what you wrote is false news. The US has not been overwhelmingly hot this year. If er. Data for year 2016 for United States has not been published by anyone anywhere. It also makes up 2% of the planet, stating that year 2016 was not the warmest on record because United States might not have been 
is just asinine. Regarding the United States, record highs have been increasing more than the record lows. For every one record low, there is more than four record high. If it were, it would have broken the old records. No one said it is. The data aren't in yet. Also, I'm going to present to you data points that run contrary to what you wrote in this article here. NOAA consistently pushing one and a half to two degrees Fahrenheit above every other temperature measurement out there. And you wonder how is that possible? I don't have to wonder. I paid attention during high school physics. Carbon dioxide and methane and water vapor are greenhouse gases. This explains the global temperature increase. Unless there's an agenda behind it. When we look at these overlapping eight different data sets of the lower tropospheric temperatures globally. Why? Why should we look at the upper layer of the lower troposphere only? The upper layer of the lower troposphere makes up almost 0.12% of Earth's climate system. Why look only at that? Why not look at all of the data? Why out here for you? How is that that two of those are still spinning northward when everything else is going down in temperature? And when we look at University of Maine Climate Change Institute over the year of 2016 into the first week 2017, downtrend. Big shrug. Your 2016 started warmer than it appears to be ending. Big fucking deal. This has absolutely nothing at all to do with your 2016 not being the warmest on record. Looking in Antarctica as well, downtrend in temperatures since 1979. Southern Hemisphere has been cooling. Northern Hemisphere has been warming much more than the Southern Hemisphere has been cooling. Note that the clown also ended his date in year 2010, which just cracks me up. And overlaying all the different data sets from the tropics to the North Pole down to Antarctica, mid-latitudes, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, we get this wave pattern. And I'll ask you to stop the frame for a moment and look into this. Do you see anything out of the ordinary jumping far above the statistical average of loss or gain? Gosh, if you had only paid attention in junior high school or looked out the window now and then, you would notice these sayings called the changing seasons. Temperatures tend to fluctuate by 30 or 40 degrees or more. The global average temperature increase gets lost in that signal, if you look at it, every three or four months. How is this not fucking obvious?